that is hungry in this country. <laughs> there is not any achievement, no goals achieved. And they say they will increase the fuel, the money again. This one, the one kilos. Basically, someone who was born in Nigeria and maybe by bed or you spent much of your years in Nigeria, so you can be called a Nigerian. Being born in Africa is one of like the greatest things because Africa in a, like, in a whole is being blessed with many things like natural resources. So being in Nigeria is like, you know, like um, a dream to come to and I'm, I'm good to like be born in Africa. This is very bad. So our cry, we they cry for the government and the president and everybody. May they help us. Especially the fuel. This issue of fuel affects us well, well. And they say they will increase the fuel, the money again. This one, the one kilos. So, now we know if you buy uh, fuel put for generator because of what's in. Uh, well, Nigeria is a better country. It's a better place to be because we have to be proud of our country. As other countries, they are proud of their own country. So we, Nigeria, were supposed to be proud of our country. Done well. I, I, I can't remember any. Our, our security, like, they've, it's been, like, improved. You get uh, security's been improved, but I can't really tell what Nigeria have done because basically Nigeria is very, like, um, in a tough situation right now, so I can't really like think what Nigeria have done well. So, but Nigeria in a whole is doing great for themselves. Um, in the area of employment, the government is trying. Yeah, we are really we have the hope, and that it's going to be better. With the, it's going to be better with the new administration we are witnessing. So it's going to be very. We are going to have Nigeria for our dream very soon. During uh, this uh, president, uh, Yera Dua and good luck. Now they do well, though. but this regime from 20 something, 20 that now, nothing day well again for this Nigeria. Nothing day. We just they suffer for this our Nigeria. We don't know where we don't go. If we don't go to uh, Togo, they go push us. We don't go to Ghana, they go push us. So now our Nigeria, but our prayer, more they continue to be pray. Make things better for us. And uh, so now me and they pray every day. No day where I go pray, I no go put Nigeria. Babu. <laughs> there is not any achievement, no goals achieved. <laughs> oh, a lot of things. Like, not is basically working in Nigeria. Not is working. We don't have good roads, bad network. People are this century. You can't use an MTN line that will go through. The educational sector is so down. You don't have free health care. Like, everything is so immersed. Um, as a teenager and also a youth, um, I would say I'm very like a little bit disappointed in, in our country because we're in a country where it's very hard, like means of living is very hard and I really like appreciate if government to like provide more works for the youth. So all this um, stealing, people looting um, their fellow human beings, if they will be able to like provide job for the youth, I think it will help to like, you know, empower the youth to do more and also do better for themselves. In the area of uh, economy, which I think they're going to, they're going to do, they're going to do better very soon. Yeah, but they will improve on education. They will improve on them. They should improve on the, on the economy. They should improve on them. The banking system too. Now that we're having no administration, everything will be okay. In election, in everything that you are doing in life, when you see the truth, you stand in truth. If no matter uh, this person is this uh, from this tribe, this person is no. When you know the truth, stand on the truth. In this country, everybody knows what happened in this election. Up to now, look at what has happened. That some people say, ah, okay, after this person, this person will do like this. This one will do like this. Up to now, look at what they are suffering. Even the transport alone, from here to here, how much? The place that you will transport 100 naira, you cannot go 500. Eh? No food. Nothing. In Nigeria, where there is justice, equality, where there is no class, 
where I can easily go to the health center because I have just a dig here. I won't be scared of giving birth because I don't think I can afford education for them. I mean, in Nigeria where we have free education, like the days of our law war, Nigeria where we have beautiful things just the way Nigeria is supposed to be. Uh, Nigeria of my dream is whereby everyone will, everyone will live our sworn peace and unity. There will be no big killings of innocent citizens, all these Boko Haram terrorizing the country. Basically, I just want um, a happy, a happy Nigeria where everyone will live our son. No racist, no type of any like you know bullying of any sort of type. I want everything to be okay than this, so that everybody will be, will be will enjoying. I want Nigeria my dream to be like America and London, where we will have uh, um, a sense of belonging and uh, to be well with us. I want make peace reign for Nigeria. Peace. You know, see, we when they not uh, not, we not get peace. But when uh, this uh, this uh, regime went go, we don't see peace most more for our north. You know, you know here killing killing again for Kaduna. I'm from Kaduna State. You see the governor, you see the president. When they go, we not hear kidnapper again. Everybody don't go back for in house they sleep because I just come back last month. So now our prayer be that. One may peace reign for Nigeria. At least the person that will come and rule this nation, let there be peace, let there be, you know, joy. Even if you are moving, you will move with confidence. Not that when you are going somewhere, you'll be afraid. You'll be afraid. You will say, ah, I can't go to this place, I can't go to this place. Eh? Fear eh, all over. Let there be peace, let there be at least love. Eh? We need the uh, love in this country. He said, what he did is to return on of Jonathan. <laughs> he wants Jonathan to return back to power. And he said, in Nigeria, poor men need to breathe. And the positions they are sharing in between their, themselves and their children, it's not, need to be shared with children of poor men. And the physician status <laughs> deserve to be shared by young men and four men. Because also they are also human beings as those rich men and the top men on the power. I say if he will be ascended as chairman of their all local government, he will try his much possible to help his people. He say he during the administration of Jonathan, lives is so easy. And it's so simple. Oil, crude oil, I'm, I'm sorry, fuel is well cheap. And transportation is very easier. You can reach wherever you want to reach in very few and little money. And during the Latin times, food is very cheap. It is yes. cheaper. We used to get food in cheap, time, uh, cheap price. <laughs> That's why people are feeling very well for yes. the, uh, the time of uh, Jonathan. He said, if he's beloved, he can trick referral legacy to not. <laughs>